sometimes people can have very small attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, these are like a precursor to a, mm -hmm. a larger stroke. Hi, this is Dr. Jayaka. Uh, I'm a neurologist here at Pantayus Neptani. All strokes are important mm -hmm. um, and sometimes people can have very small attacks mm -hmm. at maybe at a certain time interval, any time from few days to few weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, within hours, uh, within days, you can have a, an attack, for example, you can have one side of your body becoming numb or you can't speak for a few minutes and then after that you're able to speak and before you you're all comfortable again you really experience another episode so it's sort of this is what we call a stuttering attack the patients uh, who have experienced these type of symptoms they didn't know what to do with it they didn't know what to expect Face, uh, arm, speech, and time. So fast is the uh, acronym we use that uh, could indicate that you're having a stroke attack. Yeah. So facial asymmetry. You don't have your normal facial appearance, and it happened all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. um, and then your arm became heavy. Um, you know, and you couldn't hold a pen or you know pencil to write. Uh, like one of the uh, teachers who I had um, just recently. Mm -hmm. So that it was a sudden onset, she couldn't write, uh, but the rest of it was functioning fine. So that itself, in itself, uh, was a sign of a stroke. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is um, the speech, you know, so F-A-S, so speech. Mm -hmm. You have difficulty not, uh, you know, where you, you're not able to speak. Uh, difficulties in constructing a sentence, and that is not normal for you. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing, of course, the time factor, the most crucial thing when it comes to stroke. Time is brain. The longer you deprive oxygen, valuable nutrition to your brain tissue because of the lack of blood flow to your brain, that's going to cause you a significant amount of damage to your brain. And uh, these damages are often irreversible. So that's why it's important to seek urgent help. We do have uh, thrombolytic treatment. Uh, it's a treatment where we're able to dissolve the blood clot uh, in a timely fashion and that can restore your blood flow to the, to the part of the brain that's, uh, that was uh, threatened uh, early on from the block. The golden hour uh, providing treatment is in less than four and a half hours. Of course, the earlier the better. The trend was that uh, we were seeing more and more individuals in their 30s uh, early 40s and I've got quite a number of uh, people in this age group who have suffered stroke and these are confirmed stroke. Um, just a week ago uh, I had this 27 year old young pregnant lady uh, who suffered a stroke. So that's an acute ischemic stroke. In the end we found out that um, she had a hole in the heart and uh, which could have caused what we call a paradoxical uh, embolism, meaning you can uh, have the blood clot traveling from other part of your body traveling to that hole so you can bypass the lungs and then you just pass from the right to the left side of the heart and then you just travel up to your brain and block it. So we have to dig a bit deeper. Uh, young strokes uh, are still strokes. You have to be a bit more extensive in the investigation. Um, yeah. The trouble is that um, it's, it's almost impossible to get full recovery. Uh, I think I think it's difficult. It's, it's difficult. But instead of saying full recovery, I think I would probably say you will have a very good functional recovery. It's highly possible through all the rehabilitation measures, medication that we are providing. You can achieve that. Yeah.